This time, we're going to be building a program that can read an integer from the console. So, as always, I'll begin with a main label to tell QTSpin where I'd like my program to start. To read an integer, I need to use system call number 5. So, I'll put 5 into V0, and then I can run my system call operation. System call number 5 doesn't take any other arguments, so I can just run it as is, but when it's done, it will put the integer that it read from the console into v0. So now I'm going to go ahead and copy that value someplace safe, so that if I try to make another system call, I don't accidentally overwrite my value. So I'll copy that value into t0, And now I can just go ahead and end my program. So if I run my program, it just pops up a blank console, waits for me to enter an integer, and then quits. So over in the registers, you can see that v0 has a value of 10 because that was the last thing I did before my program quit. Was I put 10 into v0. But before I did that, I copied the value that the system read from the console into t0. So over in t0, I see the value of 76, which matches what's in my console. But chances are I'd like to do something a little nicer with this. So instead of just expecting my user to know to enter an integer, I'm actually going to prompt them for one. Then I'm going to make this program a little more complex by actually parroting the number back to the user. So now I'll go ahead and add all the extra code that I need to first print the prompt string. So there's the code to print a prompt out. Now my response is going to take three parts. The first part is another string to open the response to the user. Now I'm printing the string that I've got here on line 3. Next I'm going to actually print out the integer that the user entered. Here I'm using system call number 1 again, and I'm copying that integer from t0 back into a0, so it can be used as the parameter for the system call. And lastly I'm just going to print out a period and my end line character just to clean up my syntax. Now when I run this code, it actually prompts the user to enter an integer, say 45, and then it tells me that I indeed entered 45. So the thing that we added this time was the ability to read integers from the console. This allows us to request some data from a user and have them actually enter it on the console. We can then do stuff with that data in this case, I just printed it back to the user, but we could do arithmetic with it or use it to control how our program runs in some other way. 